Next, what I want to talk about is a media object and media object is this thing right over here. So it's like um, a list for a blog or a component to list your news or blog articles, maybe somewhere in the sidebar. And um, basically we have this div with the class media, which is the parent of all of the media object uh, markup. Then we have the image and uh, following that we have a div with the class media body. And inside of that we have the content, the heading and uh, the text. And that's it. There is no more um, additional markup, no more modifiers, nothing else uh, that should be added to or can be added to media objects also we can nest them and nesting is pretty simple inside of the media body we put um, another media tag and with uh, all of its uh, children so we have this um, uh, media within the media body then with the media body and the content also we can align the image we can align it at the top middle or at the very bottom and that's that comes from our uh, utilities align self um, which we will cover uh, later in this course and also you can order uh, the content so either you can have uh, the image first or the image last and you can do that with custom flexbox properties uh, such as flexbox order or you can just move the html around and the last thing since uh, media object is very simple there are no complicated um, markup no complicated uh, css styles you can use them inside of a, a ul so you can grab this media object and may put it inside of a list item and uh, you can do something like that so um this is media object and for the sake of this course let's go and uh, grab this ul and what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a sidebar and uh, i'm going to put this in the sidebar so uh, let's go ahead and do that so over in my text editor i'll go ahead and remove all of my content from my main tag and i will recreate uh, the container again so this time is going to be regular container there with the class of row and now we need uh, there with column md8 that's going to be our main section and as a sibling of that we're going to create a, a side or a sidebar and that's going to be column md4 because 8 plus 4 is going to be 12 so over here we are going to create agent 3 and call it the news and over here we are going to do heading 1 uh, the web page title whoops and there you go and also I want to throw in some uh, paragraphs so uh, p with lorem and uh, that's going to be good enough and right uh, in my sidebar right underneath the the news i will go ahead and paste in that markup that i got from uh from the bootstrap so i am um, so i'm going to paste paste it in beautify my editor content and, and next what i need to do is i need to go into this index uh scss file which is inside of the bootstrap folder and i have to add the media objects and what i need is this media scss important into my uh, sas so i am going to run import statement with the media as a url and now i need to start my uh, gulp so i'll go ahead open my terminal go into my documents uh, gulp and run gulp so here is my web page looking nice except for these images so let's go ahead and fix that let's go back to my text editor open my index html and instead instead of this uh, dot 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 i will actually put a real url 
So this is my images. I've added this place bearded URL from the previous video, except for I've changed this dimension and made it into 64 by 64. So I would have a small square as an image. And let's take a look at my web page now. And I got this small square and it's like 64 by 64. If you uh, look very closely, and this is major object. There's they are not complicated, not difficult, very straightforward, little uh, markup. Um, only two classes that you need to know media and media body no modifiers and they are very simple and straightforward <music> Thank you.